Let's go! Why do I do that every time? What's going on everybody? The time is almost here. I am so excited to see the Ravens play tomorrow. By the way, I've always had this flag with me. I've had it like last since last year. I just never used it in any of my videos. I don't know why, but I have it now, so I might as well use it. Man, I am so excited to see some Ravens football. Finally, we're gonna get to see this new offense. So many things I'm ready to see this season, man. It, it has been a long journey. From that playoff loss to here, it has been a long journey to cover and just watch this team throughout and read all the articles, just waiting to see Ravens football again. Especially with all the talk about Lamar Jackson. I mean, at some point, you just get so tired of it. I've made so many videos about it. I'm tired of talking about the same old topics of what he did last year. New year, here we are. Game kicks off tomorrow versus the Miami Dolphins. The Ravens, that's right, they're headed to South Beach. If you know me, I'm a Miami Heat fan, so that works perfectly for me. They're gonna kick off the season. They're gonna start their journey in Miami. Hopefully, this team's journey ends in Miami as well, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we're gonna start off our season taking on the Miami Dolphins. It's going to be fun. This is gonna be an interesting game to see. Um, a lot of people believe the Dolphins are tanking, and judging from the situation there, they're definitely tanking. But, you know, this could easily be a trap game, you know, one of those games where it's like, you're expected to win. Like, right now, everyone got us projected to win their first two games because of, like, oh, you got Miami, they're tanking, and Arizona, they're just not in a good situation. Easily the two worst teams in the league, according to everyone else. So, of course, the Ravens are expected to win those two games. So, this is a game we can't really afford to lose. If you look at our schedule, we got a lot of tough teams, you know, Kansas City, New England, you got, it's just like, ugh. We got to win this game. We've got to win this game and start the season off early. So a couple things I'm looking forward to seeing. Defensively, I need to see our pass rush. I have faith and confidence in those guys, but we got to just see what they can do, man. Let them get out on the field. Hopefully, they can bring pressure towards Fitzpatrick because you know that guy. That guy is a wild card. We don't know what Fitzpatrick we're going to get. You know, when there's expectation on Fitzpatrick, he plays like an elite quarterback. When there's, well, no, when there's no expectation on Fitz, Fitzpatrick, he plays like an elite quarterback. When there are expectations on him, he just plays like Fitzception. We don't know what quarterback we're gonna get. We don't know which Fitzpatrick we're gonna get. We're gonna have to see tomorrow. But you know, he's got, he's got some good guys there. But hopefully our secondary can lock him up, which I believe we have one of the best secondaries in the league. If not the best secondary in the league. Although with Tavon Young injured, I don't know how much that affects that. We'll still be fine though, we got guys. Of course, also our defensive line, we're pretty solid there. It's this pass rushing we have to see. What the heck? Sorry. <laughs> that was never mind. I thought that was never mind. But yeah, it's our pass rushing we need to see. We gotta see what these guys can do. I have confidence in them. But a lot of people just assume that we have no pass rush and that these guys can't step into the plate. Let them go out there tomorrow and send the message that just because we've lost some guys from last year, some veterans, we're still a great defense, we're still a top 10 defense, and we're still gonna get to the quarterback whenever we want to. So go out there, get to Fitzpatrick, bring pressure, and put him on the ground. I want to see the pass rush have a big game tomorrow against the Dolphins. Now, when it comes to offense, I wanna see everything. I wanna see everything, not the whole entire playbook, because obviously it's week one, you're not gonna pull out your entire playbook against one team. You know, it, it's just not gonna happen. But I just wanna get the best look into this new revolutionary offense that the Ravens have been promoting since training camp. Of course, you know, a lot of them have been saying we have, they haven't even touched anything. In, ter in terms of what happened in the preseason, we haven't even begun to see what this playbook's gonna be. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. This is gonna be a fun game. It's a homecoming game for both Lamar Jackson and Marquise Brown because they're both from the area. It should be fun. It's definitely gonna be fun. Although, even though it is homecoming game for them, it's all business. They're ready to rock. They're ready to put up points. They're ready to score. They're ready to come out of Miami with a W. It's going to be fun. I just can't wait to see this game. I, mean, I can't even eat right now. I can't sleep. I've just been spending the last hour just going through all this stuff and just analyzing, like, what could this offense be? What are we going to see tomorrow? What am I going to see from the players? I'm just going through Ravens Twitter and just looking at all this. I'm looking at other videos from, like, last season, analyzing it and looking at training camp again and going through the preseason. I'm just so excited for this game. I can't wait to see it. 
Now, of course, you know, the Dolphins, we can't underestimate them. You never underestimate your opponent. And with the quarterback like Fitzpatrick, you don't know what you're going to get. So definitely, this is a game we got to get, but we can't underestimate them. Now, depending on how this game goes, it could change everything. If we go out there and hopefully not lose this game, there are going to be a lot of questions about what this team can accomplish. And a lot of people are like, yeah, it's a 5-11 season for us. If we go out there and win the game, you know, it's a pretty hard, pretty tough, pretty hard-fought game, but we managed to win the game, then people are like, okay, middle-of-the-road type team, nothing really special. But if we go out there and completely demolish them, and they just can't stop us in any fashion, they can't stop the run game, they can't stop the pass game, they can't beat our defenders. If we just go out there and dominate on all three points of the on all three points of the game, just every offense, defense, special teams, we just dominate in that game and just blow them out in Miami. We know we got a real special unit here. Now of course even if we win in a close game or a game we win by like 10 points, obviously I'm gonna be happy with the result. A win at the end of the day is a win and I want a win. But if they go out there and blow these guys out of my then we know we got something special with this team. Now we can say this offense, it is going to be tough to stop. And I can't wait to see that offense go up against other teams and try and compete against Kansas City, try and get, um, compete against New England Patriots, and of course, try and compete against the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're about to find out what this team's made of 24 hours from now, well, not really 24 hours from now, like what? 16, 17 hours from now, we're going to know what this team is going to be all about and what they've been working on the last six months. Since that playoff loss, what they've been working on since the draft. We're about to find out what this 2019 Ravens team is made of, and I can't wait to see it. That's all I got. You guys will be seeing me tomorrow because I'm definitely watching the game, and I can't wait to see it. See it. I expect the Ravens to win this game. Um, I'm going to say 27 to 13. I think they're going to win this game 27 to 13. I think um, Lamar himself probably passed for around like 240. 240, two touchdown passes. And yeah, we'll go from there. Mark Ingram, I believe you know, either Mark Ingram or Gus Edwards, they're going to get a rushing touchdown. Defense is going to do what they do. And we're going to win this game a couple fast. You know, Tucker's going to get a couple field goals, and we're just going to cruise to an easy win. Hopefully, they prove me wrong and blow out Miami. But, hey, a win is a win, and I'll take it. It's only week one. So, that's all I got for you guys, and uh, go Ravens.